Yeah? What do you like? Hey y'all, I'm Sarah and this is Pepper. And today we're gonna be talking about first cutting and second cutting Timothy Hay and what's the difference between them? Oh, she likes second cutting. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Okay, anyway, I had to put her down because she was wild then. So we're gonna be talking about the differences between first cutting and second cutting Timothy Hay. Now, my rabbits personally eat second cutting Timothy Hay, and second cutting is probably the most common for most rabbits. It's considered the recommended cut by many veterinarians. Um, but I'm gonna get into each different cut and the pros and cons of each. So after first cutting is grown, which is in the beginning of June usually, farmers will cut that off and leave about two to six inches of hay still growing in the ground. Now, once that hay grows to a good amount, the farmers will cut the second cut. Now, this is the recommended mostly used hay. This hay is what we're used to. It's coarse enough to grind down rabbit teeth, which is what it's meant to do, but it's also still soft and like most rabbits really love to eat this type of hay. It has lots of leaves and flower heads, but not as much as the first cut. Second cutting is recommended for like your everyday rabbit that doesn't have health problems, isn't too old to chew hay because chewing hay takes up a lot of energy for rabbits. So if your rabbit is getting to the point of they don't wanna eat as much hay because it's too hard for them to chew, you might wanna to move to the third cutting hay. Now, third cutting is the last of the cuts and this happens more towards the fall. A lot of farmers don't like to do third cuts because of mother nature, the weather might not be very good, it might not have as much yield. So if you find a good third cut, that is very rare. Now, third cut obviously is the softest of all of the cuts. It's got leaves and it has the least amount of fiber. Now, fiber is very important for rabbits because of GI stasis, which they can get from not having a working GI system. The more fiber they get, the more their GI system will work and therefore they will be healthier. Now, even though third cutting has the least amount of fiber, it is still good for older rabbits that have a hard time chewing. And this is because you would rather have your rabbit eat some hay than no hay at all. And that's why third cutting is really good for that. Now, second cutting, has more fiber than third cutting and usually keeps your rabbit's system on track. Um, it's also good for grinding down their teeth, like I said. So the coarser the hay, the easier the teeth will get ground down. Now rabbit teeth don't stop growing. They're constantly growing and rabbits, I guess instinctively know this and that's why they chew hay because it does grind down their teeth. Um, that's why they chew wood products, things like that. It's just why they chew, I guess, technically. So that's another thing to consider in terms of what type of hay you're gonna be going for. Now, every rabbit is different. Every rabbit has a different type of hay that they will like. Some are picky, some are not. Some need coarser hay for their growing teeth. Some need softer hay because they're older and they need to gain weight as well. Like. Third cutting has um, a little bit more fat than second cutting, so it's going to help with uh, a little bit of weight gain for rabbits that have that issue as well. Another way to help your rabbit transition from one hay to the next is mixing different types of hay. Like You can mix second to third cutting if you are um, dealing with a rabbit that only wants third cutting, but second cutting is gonna be better for them in terms of fiber, in terms of grinding their teeth down. Also, uh, baby rabbits eat something called alfalfa hay. It is very different than these types of hay. It's got a lot of fat, a lot of calories because baby rabbits need to grow. Um, so when you're transitioning a baby rabbit from alfalfa hay, a really great transition hay is the third cutting because of how soft it is, similar to alfalfa. And then once that's been 
introduced into their diet, you can move to second cutting. And I also wanna let you know that we do have a discount code. If you use code HEY5 at checkout, you're gonna get $5 off second or third cutting Timothy Hay. Um, and like I said before, it is so important that your rabbit just eats enough hay. So you want to find the hay that your rabbit likes the very, very most so they can eat the most of it and have the best working systems and be a really, really healthy rabbit. Thank you for listening. My name is Sarah and we are very happy to have you as a part of our small pet select community. We couldn't do it without you guys. Um, please, if you like these videos, subscribe, like, comment, go to our website, smallpetselect.com and uh, hit that notification bell. We'll see you guys soon.